Alright, let's do this quietly. <clears throat> night night. He's about to go night night too. Hey, buddy. There goes your neck. You got your new one. This is quite the operation they got going here. Yes, quite is actually. Look at all this stuff. Ugh. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. Yeah. Belong to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Now the magic begins. Here we go. L. O. H. D. N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. <laughs> Shit, long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. <laughs> Shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. Hmm, I wonder what it, How where it could it? be. The Golden Hind. Right be a model? there. Maybe a painting. Well, what makes you think it's even here? It's gotta be here. Oh, could be a Buckland Abbey for a week. Uh, what? Buckland Abbey, it's a place you've never been there before. <gasps> what is a chair it? they made from the wood of his ship. Maybe it's hidden in there. Not really, it's actually hidden someplace golden, actually. <laughs> I'll check this, thank you very much. Oh, shit, it's a trap! Oh god. They're it's here, take cover! Headshots. <laughs> Hello, beautiful man. Can I get cover? Hey, more of these guys. Arabia. <laughs> oh, I think I was not covered in all. Grab the journal and the cipher disc. Okay, two bullets, two guys. I got this. I do not got this. I'm screwed. Very close. boys really appreciate it now let's get the hell out of here go, go, go. headshot I'll take your ammo thank you very much oh great smoke did Snoop Dogg into the building
dead yet. Let's keep moving forward. We'll find a way out. Another headshot. Need one more. Need one more. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, I knew it. Okay, you get one more headshot. I think you get a trophy if you get like five headshots in a row, I think. Expert. I got a trophy, but you guys okay. can't see it because I'm recording it my PS4 DVR. Son of a bitch! Oh, really? Come here. Thank you very much. Jeez, that guy wasn't knowing what hey, was moving. Hey, there's a ladder. That's it. Come here. I'll take this. And stay down. Let's move on up. Don't worry, the graphics are on Charlie 3 on the PS4 is also good as well. For me, I think on Charlie 3. I think Uncharted 1's graphics have been better on the PS4, I think. Well, so far. I gotta see more scenery for Uncharted 3 before I make that judgment. Okay, roll. Roll. I'm rig rolling. Duck. Keep head up. Duck. Head up. And duck. Hey, you better run. Coward. You know, I'll keep, I'll keep the shotgun. Cutter, where the hell are we? It's the North Atwood Station, come on! No, really? You think so? How can you tell? It's not because, like, the signs are right there and all, right? Stay down. Chloe, can you read me? We're coming out the old North Outwood station. There's no time to explain. Snipers are back. That's great. That's my luck. Up here, hurry! There's a kid's going to get these steps. Here comes the Alright, let's go. 
go. Over here. Let's get the heck up out of here. Back up, back up. Open it, open it, open it. Come on. Get in. Go, go. That's not going to get So then the guy says. Well, you better tickle mine, too, because now I gotta catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, yo, tickle mm. what? To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Who the hell's John D? John D? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah. He was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look. 007. Not really that relevant. <laughs> oh, God. So color. it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. Let the See, man after talks. the war, Lawrence Let said that if talk, he were ever Sully. to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubel-Kali Desert. Right here. I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper Shambhala. hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has, has nothing. nothing. Small problem. The Rubel-Kali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we well, would we'll die figure it trying out. to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Hey, yeah. we always do. Looks like Sabian's script. Sabian's script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's <laughs> lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 I miles in a possible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <sighs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What London do you say? bridge is falling down. What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> Fine, I guess. <sighs> Don't. <laughs> Look at this thing, it looks gorgeous. Damn. Not bad. It's like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. 
Come on. Yeah. We Not too this. far. <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru. Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. Well, I'm going the right way. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Come on, through here. There it is, just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. Of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. Some... Yeah, yeah, it's this way. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. Whoa. All right, this way. This way. Watch your step. Easy. Whew. Easy. I don't know, kid. Easy. You sure we're in the right place? It doesn't seem old sure. enough. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Say the castle. It's more like Renaissance. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was okay. built in the 11th century. The rest was added on Before later. Before I do any drastic jumps. Okay. Guess I'm going with drastic jump. He <laughs> jumped. He made it. No drastic jump. Ooh. Oh, this looks sketchy. Very sketchy. Ooh. What are you waiting for? I loosened it up for you. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Look, Sully, your first car. Oh, man. That's a 1927 Auburn. Oh, the car memories. Okay, where are I going now? Where to? Oh, down here. <clears throat> yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty tacky. <laughs> The knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. According to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep in the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're going to find him. Here we go, going to climb him. Try this door. Goodbye, no use, Sully. Get no use. Uh. He jumps. And he makes uh. it. Uh. Nathan is that window above I don't want to cut myself. Yeah, he's on golf. Jeez, man. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that. I take that back. I take that all back. I take that back. I didn't mean no. Yeah, I didn't mean that. That was pretty right, stupid nice of me. Going, I did kid. not mean that. Be right back. I take, I take that. I take that all back. Jeez, that was pretty messed up of me to say that. Oh God. I hope that that that, that wasn't caught in the audio, cause damn, that was pretty messed up. Oh, crap! Oh, that hurts. Hey, kid. Really, I found that. Yeah, I found that to be a bad taste. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Don't know what's up. I'm off of vinegar. I said lock. Oh god, just choked on water. From that joke. Good? Nice jump. Okay. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Oh, I'm not trying to door yet. Place. Let's try this first. Yep, never mind. I got to go to the door anyways. Yeah. Nope. Can't get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? We can try. Which is why the bookshelf comes in handy. Come on, Sully. Wait, hey. this will work. Sully, move your ass. There we go. Gotta do it. Yes, yes, I shall. Be careful up there. Old damn thing's rotten. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Uh, Freaking spider monkey. I have an idea. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. yeah. Pretty impressed, right? Those for the jump. Oh, you're crazy. Watch it. That thing's coming out of the ceiling. And he failed it. He obviously failed it. Okay, let's do this. Wait, can I jump from here? Yes, I can. Okay. Easy. Easy. Make it. Good job. Alright, here we go. Okay, so we get the door open. Alright, got Good job, good job. There. I'll give you a cookie after this. Be right down. That guitar, though. Is that a popcorn machine? Yes, it is. It is a popcorn no. machine, probably. Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. We'll find a way. We always do. Let's follow the light. Yeah, we're going the right way. Because if I recall, then it's this way, then out that window right there. Hey, Nate. Square tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. Like you? That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Thanks. To the window, to the floor. <laughs> What was that? Oh, just a chair. Well, I'm pretty sure it was a tr there was like a treasure on here or something. No, no, nothing. Oh, there was a treasure there before, but that. Oh, yeah, this way. Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Come on. Watch it! That was a close one. Oh, thanks. I just like how Nathan wears dark colors, but Sully's always the one to wear like bright colors. Oh god, this puzzle again. I never liked this puzzle. Hey, Nate. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. That's gotta mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? Fireplace? Kinda on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. Hey, check out these suits of armor. Let's see if I remember this correctly. Lawrence made a note about something like this. Uh, let me take a journal. Yeah. Here, see? Four knights. With an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. Maybe we gotta turn each night so it's facing the right way. Yeah, but what's the right way? Uh, okay. Sword or axe? Shield or axe? Oh, whoops, forgot to turn that guy. Well, let me double check. Yeah, forgot to turn this guy. Must be some kind of trick to it. A pattern. No, oh, dang it. Turn up. Really? What did I screw up? Okay, the shield puts at the axe. Guy with the thing points at the shield. <gasps> oh! Whoops, I didn't mean to shoot. This direction. Yeah, I could uh, yeah, well, use the opposite direction. A secret passage. Hi. Hi. Gotta hand it to you, Sully. Okay, I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? One, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull. Just, just pull. Got it. Nice. Eight? Very Eight. nice. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. 
It's just in here for us three BS spiders. There's oh no God, way I'm those getting back up again. There. I'm gonna head this way. Those things are annoying. Meet me on the other side. On the PS3. You got it. Just be careful down there. Right. Oh yeah. When I played this on the PS3, I, I remember that I got this like the first day it came out. Like, I was hyped about this game. Like I'm hyped about Uncharted 4 right now. But actually, no, actually no, I'm more hyped about Uncharted 4 right now. What was that noise? Which the reason is getting <gasps> kind of close. This is hope I make it. I should be able to get through here. Easy. Oh, no, I hear him. Uh, I hear him. I hear the clickings. <laughs> Nasty little beggars. Let's see where we go. Marco. Apparently, when you aim your pistol, you walk faster in the water somehow. When you're not, yeah, you walk faster than when you're not aiming. Apparently, so yeah. Light. That's a good sign. Don't go to the light, Jack. Don't go to the light. Okay, I'm going to leap of faith. Oh, there you go. Nice, very nice. Okay. Let's just do a fast climbing over oh, here. God. We hope out. we don't die and fall right, to our death. I should be climb up through there. Come on, stop messing around. Oh god, this thing. There you go. Oh god, nice save. Nice save, very nice. And now the action begins. Oh, crap. They're here somewhere. Hunt them down. Well, I'm right here, buddy. So, so, actually, they're not gonna be doing the hunting. I'm the one who'll be doing the hunting. Come here. Here, to go stealth or to go loud? First is go the whole stealthy is healthy approach. Okay, that guy's coming over here. Gotta get my gun fully loaded. What was hey, that? Pal? Ooh, break your neck and oh crap. Here they come. I messed up. I've done goofed. I've done goofed. Uh, screw it. Head shower. Free aim. What you gonna do about that? Give me your gun. I'm gonna have good goofed actually. Oh god, this is not good. Let me get out. The open and get some more cover. Surprise! Come here. Here we go. Headshot. It's all about the headshot. Ah. You get headbutted. And you got bitch left while you're at it. Ah. Run away from the explosion car. That's almost a shotgun. Oh crap. Give me that. I give me your ammo too. I'm gonna need it. Oh. What the heck? He was already dead. Jeez, Nathan, a little bit of overkill. Let me reload this gun. We'll get a headshot on that guy over there. He's down, he's down, he's down. Is that everybody? Well, these guys are weak. Very weak. My five-year-old niece puts up a bigger fight than these guys. 